Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all. And in this video, we are jumping back into the upcoming Season 11 DLC to handle a couple more jobs and missions that we have around the map. However, before we get to that, I want to introduce this extremely interesting truck. Now, this is the Edison Motors L750. There's also an L500 included with this mod, but this is a very, very interesting truck for multiple reasons. Now, this is a, essentially, it is a hybrid powertrain style truck. It is electric powered at the wheels, but the electric power is supplied by a diesel generator. Now, when the electric motors are powering the wheels, you'll hear like a whirring spaceshipy noise, and then Obviously, as far as the diesel generator, I don't know if the diesel generator ever actually clicks on or not. That's something we'll have to see. I don't think it does, but if it does, well, I'm sure we'll know it if it does happen. Now, it's interesting because you do have a center seating position with a bunch of different cameras located around the upper end of the cabin. And you have some cabin controls in here as well, along with some more traditional style gauges out front. My apologies for the in-cabin frame rate issues. This footage is being recorded on my old PC as opposed to my new PC, so any frame rate discrepancies, we can just blame it on my old PC. Now, without any further ado, though, let's go ahead and get it back into the garage, finish the build, and handle at least some of the cargo deliveries for this upcoming contract. So let's see. Now, we have a SnowRunner-friendly simulated gearbox, and then we also have a electric simulated transmission. So obviously, with a electric drivetrain vehicle, you're dealing with some different types of transmissions and some of them don't even have a transmission so we're gonna attempt to use this simulated electric transmission because essentially these function very differently than a traditional engine to transmission to axles to tires type drivetrain so let's run it and see what happens now suspension wise we got stock and raised we'll definitely go for the raised suspension and then let's see Ooh, twm load king and uh amalco tires interesting do we have any other ones? TWM Titan Tires and Teradyne Singles. Those are going to be your big super singles. And then we also have the TWM Terra Tires and Terra Tires with Traction Bars, which is essentially going to be a little bit more like a, I'm guessing, icy, snowy condition type setup. So I think... We might actually run these because we're going to have to go into some sketchy terrain anyway. And then now, let's say we've got Extreme Terra Combo Tires. Oh, that's cool. And then you also have Titans with traditional chains if you'd prefer to run that setup. I'm going to run the Traction Bar setup because that's totally different from anything else I've ever run before. Let's do the Extended Electric Oil Field Winch. And then we'll do the TCM Raised Snorkel. And then we will also do a probably... I'm, I'm split on whether I want to do a high saddle or a low saddle trailer. Probably a... Uh, oh, I'm so split. Probably a low saddle. That way we can handle kind of the first half of this contract. And then maybe handle the other half... Um, with a different truck a little bit later on. And what's also really cool about this is if you look right there uh, in the frame, like in the chassis, you can actually see the orange signifying the high voltage lines running to all of the electric motors and connectors. It's really, really well done. So we'll do the low saddle. And then now we do have some other add-ons that we could do if we would like. We've got train horns that can go up top. I'm, you know what? I'm down for that. And then let's see. We've got the prototype PDU headache rack. And we've also got the standard frame rig up and also the oil field winch truck layout, which we will probably use in a future video. Now, let's see. TCM bumper. Oh, I love that. That looks really good, especially with the recessed winch. Now, fenders and mud flaps, they are already all on. And then, let's see. Grill logo, black light, orange. Grill logo, black light, white. Let's do, let's do the orange. I dig the orange. And then we'll do the <laughs> single uh, weed burner exhaust. I guess it just means like it's downturned or whatever. And then now, or rather, is that side turned? I'm not actually sure. I think it's a downturn. I don't see it. Although maybe I might be blind. So if someone saw it, let me know in the comments below. And then we will go with the white wheels. And at this point, I'm kind of split on whether or not I want to actually change the color. I really do like um, the way this truck looks in white. And I'll probably leave it that way. Although the gray looks really good as well. 
and I may also do, I may also do like an orange or a red to match the, oh, I really like the orange actually. For whatever reason, the orange and white actually I find to be a really nice combo. So now let's fire it up and hear what this absolutely like space age thing sounds like. Oh, this is, this is very strange. What does the horn sound like? That's very different from anything else I've heard in this game. All right, so let's run the, well, I like the step deck and it would definitely be a cool trailer for this, but I don't know if it's going to give us issues getting up to the sign. You know what? We're going to run it anyway, because I haven't run the step deck in forever. Now, with this being essentially based on a pretty much single speed truck, you're definitely, it's definitely an odd driving experience, especially in SnowRunner. Like, this is really, really odd, and I might almost have to boost the volume to, uh, to allow y'all to be able to hear the whir of the electric motors, but I feel like even for those of you that, that probably don't like electric powered stuff at all, at least knowing that there's also a diesel generator in here will probably make you feel a little bit better. All right, let's see if we can get through here without issue. Not bad. Not terrible. Okay, now, let's see. We need metal rolls and concrete slabs. What do we have here? Metal rolls, metal beams, and consumables. Um, so we're going to need to craft some more metal rolls, but we can do that. We'll load up the four metal rolls and we'll get them up to the sign. That's going to be no big deal, or at least I think that should be no big deal. If it ends up being a big deal, then we'll... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, I'm going to swing wide. Just cut back in. Probably. Ow. Aw. I was trying to, like, avoid um, hitting the power pole. And in doing so, I dented up the front bumper a bunch. <laughs> I really didn't want to do that. I was really not, like, I was trying to avoid that. Okay, so, let's see. No energy in the zone. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, now, fire up the generator. And then you gotta wait for it to power up, because that's how SnowRunner works. And then change trucks again. And then now, metal rolls. Craft, craft, craft. Okay, we have six in stock. Okay. So, metal rolls. Now we can load up. One, two, three, four. This is a five-unit trailer, but four rolls is more than, uh, it's more than enough to cover us. So, let's see. I do love the way this thing looks, though. It's such a good-looking design. I think because it definitely reaches back into the history books of trucks like the Pacific and, you know, maybe a couple of different, like, there's maybe a little bit of Oshkosh inspiration in there, too. Um, but definitely for a truck that plans on working in the wilderness, I think it's a wonderful design. And I think also it helps if you're used to those older designs and you're not quite sure about a truck with, like, you know, um, like a diesel generated electric powertrain. Um, you're maybe not too excited about the concept of that, of, of that. But maybe if it, you know, if it looks like the trucks you're used to, maybe you will be a little bit more excited about it. This powertrain is actually very similar to how a diesel electric train would function, which I think is also super cool. Now, in order to get to the sign, we basically have to like stay on this main road for quite a while. We have to go past the movie set. I can actually see the sign out there in the distance, but I tell you what, We'll catch up with y'all once we get to some trickier terrain. So we have two different route options here. We have the longer but safer route, and we have the shorter but seemingly much sketchier route. Now, the longer route would go up this way, around this bend, and then continue on up. We make a left, and boom, we're right here at the sign. Or the shorter route, we go past it, we make a hard, hard right turn, and then up what looks like the remnants of an avalanche, and then boom, we're there. Now, I've never taken either one of these routes before, so realistically, I don't know which one is sketchier, but I'm gonna go with the shorter one because I'm kind of in the mood for an adventure with this truck, and because I've never used it before, I really wanna put it through its paces and see what happens. Like, genuinely, I wanna see what happens, and also, I wanna see 
frankly, what this truck is capable of. I'm all in for it. I really am. All right, we just gotta see how we're gonna make this turn. This turn is going to be... Ooh, it's gonna be a lot. Okay, all right. Um, well, send good vibes for this one. This <laughs> Oh, oh no! Well, up we go. This is either gonna go well or or it's gonna be a big rip. One way or another, we're sending it. Come on! Oh! This isn't sketchy at all. I was anticipating much worse than this. I was anticipating so much worse. Oh, but look at that though. That view is gorgeous and what a shot too. Okay, backing on out. We gotta actually finish this. Like, I could probably, like, sit here and take pictures for... Not, maybe not hours, but close, as, close enough. So this will complete half of our order, and then we just need to complete the other half. And then, the Oristoke sign um, will be good to go. Not really the Hollywood sign, but it's... This is the console-friendly Hollywood sign. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. Almost there. And... Yeah, that wasn't sketchy at all. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, that's half done. And now on to the next half with a different truck. But I can definitely say that I want to keep this thing in my fleet for quite a bit. 